Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I have a quick and easy, super fun scrap buster for you today. Um, I've made these before, but I don't think I've done a tutorial, and it's not even a hard technique. It's just more of an idea that um, might be helpful for you. So, um, I always end up with lots of paper scraps, as you guys know. You also know I like to craft a lot with words. And so what I've done is I've just made strips and I've added, whoops, that one I forgot to put it on, but I've added, I don't know if you can tell because they're, they're slippery, but I've added, I forgot to do it on that one. Let's see, two-sided tape. Um, so these are stickers. So they're, they're kind of like your own washi tape or your own little stickers or words to have for when you're um, crafting. You can just pull it out and then pull the tape off. So I used um, just some words that I typed and then printed out. And like I did these really small and then left the pattern paper large. Some of them I um, printed out and kind of just covered the, the main part of the area of the scrap of paper. Um, some of these are from some of my digital paper kits um, that have the words on them and I'm cutting them out. And then I also just took some quotes that I like, typed them and printed them out or even just printed out words. So um, if you don't have a way to print and you wanna do this, I even did some, if I can find here, the ones that I forgot to put the tape on. Um, I just wrote out, I wrote trust in new beginnings and this one I wrote, um, so beautiful and brave and just on a piece of scrap ledger paper and then trimmed it and put, put them down. So I've got a couple of different styles. Now this one's larger and I haven't put tape on the back of this one and I put this little snap on there, which I think is cute. Um, but I used just a piece of leftover craft paper, cut the quote out, um, glued it down, threw some distress ink over top so it wasn't quite so white. Um, and I did a torn piece of paper on there with that um, button brad or button eyelid, I guess, to make it look really cute. So um, again, you can do these however you like. If you have some long strips of paper, um, you know, what you can do is uh, get your two-sided tape and just lay, lay a strip down on the back side like this. And then I would, before I cut this off, I'm gonna glue my words down and then we'll, we'll cut them apart because I might want it a little bit wider. Um, or you can put them all together like I did these and then the ones that I forgot to put the tape on, you know, you can cut a strip of your tape or you can leave them and then just glue them down. But I thought it was kind of fun, the idea of having some easy um, stickers to embellish different things with. There you go. So then you have a whole set that are ready to go and craft with. So I just am randomly picking um, scraps of paper that I have and um, I am going to cut out some of my little phrases. This is a long one. It's not just a couple of words. What does it say? It says, life is made up of beginnings and endings. So true. And then the other one says, it's okay to let go. I think you guys, um, if you've been with me for any length of time, you've probably heard me talk about how I really feel um, art and crafts and journaling and anything where we're using our hands and um, making something, you know, can really be healing. And for me, I'm, I'm actually a counselor by trade, and I really like using words in the work that I do in my art um, because at different times in my life, you know, that's part of what I did to help during transitions and healing. So anyway, I like using quotes and words and scriptures and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to just glue this one down right there and then I have room I think that one will fit so we'll trim it off and like I said if you don't have a printer or um, words some people even buy those I have some somewhere um, 
the, the stickers already that there are quotes and words. I'll see if I can find a sheet of them. This would be a fun project to use up, you know, your pile of scraps to then have them on hand. Give them a little bit different look. I'll see if I can find this. And then I already have the tape on the back. I'm just going to cut right along there and cut it apart. I mean, look how, how simple and easy that one. I left a little long just because I think it looks cute. And I could, of course, ink around the full edge of that. Let's see. I don't know where I put. Where have I put all those little sticker words? I used to have them. Oh, here we go. So like these, if you get these like at Michael's or Joann's or somewhere, this is a Tim Holtz brand, but we could make some of those as well. So I'll keep those out too. Um, let me show you how I was doing some with the craft cardstock because I like how these turned out too. Um, so here's some that are a little bit longer. This is a Winnie the Pooh. It's actually a Christopher Robin quote that I like. What does it say? Promise me you'll always remember, this is a very famous one, that you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Yeah, that's a good reminder for Pooh, isn't it? Now, this is so long, I am probably not going to like put it on a strip of paper that long, I am probably going to be do the tedious task of kind of cutting it apart um, and making it a little bit of a, a little shorter, chunkier tag. So about, I'll just cut it there and we'll see what it looks like. You got to keep them in order. <laughs> um, let's see. There we go. All right, it's still going to be kind of a, a big one, but that's all right. Now, I like doing a strip of torn paper or something just to give it um, some interest on the edge since we're using a very uh, neutral, a brown <laughs> craft card stock. I've already made a huge mess on my desk, haven't I? Now, a lot of times I'll glue it down and then trim it off. You could actually leave it hanging off that looks good or you can also wrap it around the um i did one like that somewhere i wrapped it around oh it was on these you know i just wrapped the paper around um so there's options i think i'm going to leave this one that that height and just glue it on i think that'll be interesting to look at a little bit of glue here so this is easy, easy mass make, scrap buster, you know, you can do a bunch. If you don't even have the words yet and you just want to make some strips, that would be fun too. I am not going to try to ink around these real skinny ones. I'm going to do it like I did here and just add some ink if I want to. I may leave them bright white. So I have white in that paper, but okay. Just going to glue them down. Um, you do want to pay attention, like I said, and get them in order so your quote reads correctly. And I say that, I'm just double checking. So, um, I hope everyone is doing really well today. I decided I wanted to just have a quick and easy tutorial for you guys. Something just easy and fun. Um to help you maybe clean up your desk or go through your scraps. Sometimes I need a project that's not like a lot of measuring and a lot happening. Um, let's see what we need to do to make this one come together. Um, I may end up trimming the paper off. Need to get it straight. I'm gonna come right there. And I think I think I want to trim it off. So I'm going to lay it here um, on my chopper. I feel like I have that very straight. So I want to go through that layer. <laughs> I'll just flip it over and cut it with my scissors. 
and then this one I'll just trim off. I think this needs to be sharpened. I don't know how to sharpen it. If anybody knows how to sharpen a little tiny guillotine trimmer like that, let me know. Oh, I like it. Now, again, this is where you can then keep going, right? We can add a ribbon. We can add another tag. We can add a piece of hardware. There's just the possibilities really, really are endless. I'm just going to go with a larger brad. I found this. You guys, this is so old. In fact, you'll be able to see how old. Look at the googly eyes, how they've turned yellow. That might be creepy for Halloween. That might be something to think about. But I found this and um, the back of one of my cabinets. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I haven't seen these in years. Um, so again, for my scrapbooking days with all kinds of little pieces over there, are those little snaps that I put on one. But I got it out and I thought it would be fun to use some of these old embellishments. There's some more of these hidden in my cabinet. So we may have to pull them out and look at them here soon. Um, and I have done something with my paper piercer. I try really hard to put things back in the same spot, but it does not always happen. So I'm using a needle to poke a hole to make this brad go through more easily. It worked, but I do wanna find my paper piercer. I use that, especially when I'm putting journals together. Okay, and again, we could put something else, but I think it looks good. I'm gonna add just the lightest amount of distress ink on there. There, I like it. Okay, so that one looks good. That's a large one. But the little tiny ones are just so easy and fun to make. Um, let's, let's make one with one of these stickers. And then I'm also gonna do one where I hand write um, a quote for us. Oh, and I had the tags out because it's another thing you can mass make. If you have some little, I don't know, are these ticket shaped, whatever shape these are, strips. And I have been, you've seen this in lots of videos lately because it keeps coming out when I grab my scrap pile. Um, just haven't worked through them all yet. But this will be another fun way to have some words on hand for your journals and your projects. So I'm just gonna cut a couple of these out. I guess I'll go ahead and do all three. I may leave this one, let's see what happens. Maybe we'll put something a little bit longer on this one. Or we'll cut it apart if we decide to, who knows. All right. Um. If you guys decide to make some of these, let me know. Uh, I would love to see what you make. Some some of you guys um, tag me like on Instagram or Facebook and stuff so I can see what you've made. Um, and if, if you wanna do that, I am all for it. I think it's fun. One day I might get organized enough and host a little Facebook group where we can share our projects and things, but I just don't know if I have it in me just yet. It's a lot. Um, okay. Well, how about something good is about to happen? That sounds like something I would like, doesn't it? Something good is about to happen. And I am gonna have it cross over both of these because I think that's kind of fun. And then I am going to take yet another scrap from somewhere, maybe I'll sacrifice one of these tags and cut out a little heart to go on there. Would that be cute? And again, so you can just embellish in different ways. And um, what I also like about them is they all look completely different depending on how you decide um, to embellish them. And if you were doing a theme, like I was thinking, like, my owl themed journals that are sort of in um, more warm, ballish type colors. I've made several of those because I just love them. But you know, I could have a whole pile made up 
that would coordinate with with those colors in that journal and that would be fun too so um how about for this one this now this is just a strip off of like when you're using book page and a lot of times i want the to use the part with the font on it or the writing and so i end up with a bunch of these strips I don't save all of them because I would probably be buried by now, but I do save a lot of them. And then I'll just use them for my words or my quotes and things. So um, why don't we, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to think of, um, think of words that I want to write, but um, let's see, uh, bop, 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 bop. Um, all right, I'm gonna go with a standby. You are my sunshine. I'm gonna put a little heart. When my kids were little, um, it's so funny. My son is older, so my son Daniel, um, and I guess I, I used to say that to him, and we would sing the "You Are My Sunshine" song. And he has, a, you know, one biological sister, Sarah, who I talk about as well a lot, and um, Sarah. One day I said something to her, you know, and called her sunshine or said, you are my sunshine. And my son was very serious. This is too long for that tag. So we'll put it on a different piece of paper. He's like, no, mama, I am your sunshine. <laughs> and so a lot of times when I see that, I just, I can hear his, his sweet little voice saying that. All right. So I'm going to just stick this one on this piece of paper. And so speaking of Daniel, I do have exciting news. I had asked everybody for um, y'all to keep my son in your thoughts because he had a big job interview because he was wanting to do a job change. Well, he was offered the job that he interviewed for and he accepted it and he'll be starting next week, I believe. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video, but he's starting near the end of August. Um, and I'm recording this on August 18th in the afternoon. So anyway, I'm not sure when I'm going to put this one up. But anyway, he got the job. He is beyond excited. He gave a couple of weeks notice. So I think he has like another week at where he currently is. Doesn't that look cute? Um, and... A, a nice bump in pay and um, new, new, new responsibilities, good benefits, all those things. Um, so thank you, thank you. Both of my kids, um, Daniel and Sarah, are doing good things. And then my others are as well. Um, youngest will be leaving next weekend for her last year of undergrad. And then the other two already have great jobs <laughs> and their own places. So everything is going really well for all those kiddos. We are so, so fortunate. Okay, how about this one? As a matter of fact, that makes me laugh a little bit. And I'm going to put it on this one because it just kind of feels like sometimes you just need to say, whoops, it went on crooked. You just need to say, yes, as a matter of fact, that is what's happening in my life. All right, so I pulled it up to straighten it and I tore it. It is fixable. We're going to use glue instead of the sticky part of the sticker. And I'm going to make that M go back together. And it's just going to be a little crooked, but it'll be okay. Oh, speaking of one of my daughters, she is calling me. So I'm going to have to finish up my video and call her back here in just a few minutes. All right. So that, that would be Miss Emily. We are celebrating my husband's birthday about a week early um, tonight. And the kids are coming over for a fun meal. And um, that's probably what she's calling about. So, all right. So did I show you guys enough? It's just really a quick and easy scrap buster. Use your two-sided tape, whatever whatever width you want to use. Do a whole strip. This one I didn't put any on. Um, have them ready to go. Keep them in your stash, and you'll be happy you did. So if you like this one, give it a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, and I hope you guys make some and you found this quick and easy idea helpful. Okay? Have a great day, everybody. Until next time. See ya.